Hello fellow coders, this is Pavel and this is part 3 of the bank account exercise from uh, uh, introduction to programming using Visual Basic. Uh, this is, I believe it was uh, chapter 11 and the project number 1. So in the previous videos we ha I showed you the form, actually in the first video I showed you the functionality what we are creating, but we have the form and we have the account. Uh, class so in this uh, exercise we'll continue creating our classes now the exercise itself calls for uh, classes account and transaction but I'm going to create one more class and I'll call this one presentation and that's because it will be like you know resetting the forms and the text boxes and uh, you know updating the grid and stuff like that it could be all done you know in the in the form like uh, for the uh, like each individual event but that just gets really crowded i prefer to just have a, a separate kind of a layer for the presentation so uh, i'm gonna do that so i'll add a new class and i'll call it presentation and in it it's basically again like i said it's going to be clearing the text boxes and displaying values and stuff like that in the grid box I mean grid view so um, I will do public share this is all gonna be shared uh, which is uh, uh, basically in other languages it will be static because we are going to be we, we don't need to declare or you know instantiate this class we will simply call each methods they can be used from uh, other classes and other forms if it, we decided to extend it because they don't have really any mm, calculations in that. It's just simply displaying the data on the form. So that's why shared. So public shared sub. Uh, I'll just call this one change form. Well, I'm not sure if this is the best name. Basically, this is gonna be like the main method for this uh, for this class that will call all the other methods. So all we have to do is pass the account as account to it because we will need to get the name. So if we are switching them, uh, so we have checking and savings, we need the balance so we can update the, uh, the balance text box. And we need, of course, the accounts for the, for the grid as well. We will need the transaction for that too. So uh, oh, this is the account, so this is the presentation. And I'm gonna create uh, some methods. I'm gonna call them from here. I don't have them created yet, so let's just do it. So set grid view, and we will do something like refresh form and display grid, and maybe some others later. We'll see. So set grid view basically means we will set the headers uh, for the grid view we are going to be displaying the date the amount the transaction name and other stuff so that's gonna be all in the set grid view refresh form just like it says we will clear the text boxes and uh, all switch the data like uh, remember when uh, when we switch to check-in we have checks over here but when we switch to savings this should not be available because there's no checks in savings so we will make sure that it's hidden and display grid just like it says we will display the transactions uh, each row uh, of, on the grid so um, we will do setup data grid view headers over here so and it's gonna be the public shared sub set grid view and in it since we are this is a separate class we have to uh, we call in the um, the objects like because everything is an object including the text boxes and buttons so we have to call them uh, with full path so f I named the form f uh, frm accounts that's my main form and I'll call each of the uh, of the elements so the one I'm calling is uh, 
the grid view are called transactions and I'll reset the data source to nothing so it clears everything uh, uh, from before so it kind of refreshes the grid view and to make sure that it does it well I will also do uh, the uh, I will clear the rows not not a row count but just rows and clear I'm sorry that's rows like that and uh, I, I want five columns and I, I don't have anything set up uh, manually over here this is all going to be programmatically the, uh, like when I go to my grid view and edit columns there's nothing there I'm doing it over here in the presentation so frm accounts dot data grid view transactions dot column count and I want five rows and the first one uh, transactions columns uh, it's gonna be columns the first column will be of the, the header text for the first column uh, what I'm gonna display it first is uh, let's just do date I'll call it date let me just copy paste it four more times one two three and four so the second one will be description basically it will say whether it's uh, something like withdrawal or, or deposit or transfer from bank account and stuff like that the third one I'll just call amount the fourth can be the new balance so after each transaction it will just like when you look in your bank account uh, online or uh, you know after each line after each row there's an amount of the balance that was current at that time when that transaction took place so that's like I'll just call it new balance and over here I'll call it transaction type and that's basically will be either withdrawal or deposit but since we also write checks that's a withdrawal but we have transfer from bank account from one account that's a withdrawal to the other account which would be deposit so that's gonna be transaction type and that's all for this uh, setup grid I don't think there's anything else we need over here I'm gonna create uh, display data on the form basically refreshing the form or clearing the text boxes and stuff like that so public shared sub refresh form and uh, first thing I'm gonna do is do not display checks panel uh, for savings account which what I mean by that is this group uh, will be hidden when we are viewing savings account so and what I need though over here I will need to pass something to it and I will need to pass the name because I have to be switching them so I, I need to know what the account name is in order to make sure that I hide it at the appropriate time so, so I account name a string I'll pass to it and if the account name equals savings then uh, I didn't do it right savings then uh, the FRM accounts and I'll hide the whole group so the group checks that are visible equals false we will hide it and also when I'm viewing check account checking account in the transfer I want transfer from check-in to savings but when I say when I change it to savings I want transfer from savings to check-in so I have to switch those as well and again that we can do it right in the, in this uh, method over here so 
the FRM uh, account that and the label I transfer from that text equals savings again this is when it's a uh, the account is savings so it's from savings to check-in so the other other label is the account that label transfer to that text and that will equal check-in else in other words again there's only two accounts I'll just copy paste this uh, so this is gonna be true because it's a checking account so we want the checks visible the whole group uh, we want this checking from checking to savings okay now so that's one portion the next thing we need to do we need to basically clear the text boxes so I'll, I'll start with the deposit that clear and we'll do the the text box uh, withdrawal just so I do them in order that way I remember better which one they are but I already forgot anyway so uh, deposit withdrawal and then there's uh, okay so we have the order of uh, check amount I mean so frm accounts dot txt check amount dot clear frm accounts text this is the for the checks to, this is the text box for the order of over here the text actually not a text dot clear sorry and there's one more and I forgot again what we looked at it before. Okay, so uh, that's the transfer amount. Let me just put it over here. So again, so they're in order. Accounts txt, and this is the transfer amount. That clear. And there you have it. So um, this is the refresh form over here. We have to pass the. Uh, account name so and we are passing it into this uh, into this uh, method anyway we pass in the account so we are just we just pass it uh, down the road basically so we will pass the account that account name we don't need to pass the whole account with the balance and all that we just need the name again just so we can perform the if statements and finally display grid and that's going to be basically displaying the rows of transaction so uh, before I go any further I am going to create a transaction uh, oh, where's the ad transactions class because I will need to just so I have it created because I need it for the for that method so I'll just create a co class called transaction just one transaction we go row by row but let me finish this one first before I try doing that one so uh, this one is display rows in data grid and this one's gonna be public shared sub display grid uh, this is display grid and um, the way I'm gonna do it uh, I'm gonna do two lists one for the transactions and one for the uh, account well mostly for the account balance because I'm going to be displaying uh, in the uh, remember there's that new balance <coughs> and that's going to be the balance from the account class so I need is and I can just uh, keep the data from both transaction class and the account class in two separate uh, separate uh, lists and uh, that way I know that uh, the uh, transaction with the index zero matches the 
balance of the um, list of the accounts with the index of zero. So it, it will be more clear when I actually code the logic for that. But over here, let's just do trans as list and list of transaction. And I can initialize it right away. Transaction. Uh, dot. Now, I don't have the list actually created, never mind. Um, I will create them later. Let me just code it anyway. I will create a list called transaction list. And uh, I will do the same for the account as list of uh, account. And that equals. Uh, transaction dot it's a little uh, that new balance list yeah it will be in, in, in the transactions after all I I think it will be if not I'll rename it the reason is because I'm going to just be, be dealing with the transactions along row by row so I will just create those and I'll create them as static so that way I don't have to uh, declare uh, instantiate the uh, account I mean the transaction class over here. Yeah, let's do it that way. I'll so, uh, but let me just finish this uh, presentation class first. Nah, I don't think I can do it. I have to do the, do the transaction first. So let's do the transaction. So, uh, yeah, that's enough for now. Uh, and in the next video, I'll code the transaction uh, class. And that, that way we will have everything uh, ready for the display in the grid. So stick around and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.